Hello UT and hello the world, I'm your host, Andrew Rosas. You know, I've always considered myself somewhat of a scientist, but I grew up in the 80s, when science taught me that chemistry was nothing but three beakers full of colored liquid, planets were made of styrofoam, and the earth was filled with molten hot baking soda. That's why I think it's important for kids to get excited about science at an early age, and thankfully, Dr. Kate Bieberdorf is on the case. Not only is Dr. Bieberdorf a lecturer here at UT, she's also the director of demonstration and outreach, which is out in local schools promoting science education with her demonstration series, Fun with Chemistry. So doctor, uh, first of all, tell us a little bit about your program. Fun with Chemistry is an outreach program that's entirely funded by the chemistry department. We've had one grant that we got last semester and I'm really hoping to extend that on and get a little bit more donations and fundraising. But right now it's entirely funded by the chemistry department. And what I do is I bring things out to the school and I try to actually show whatever it is my topic is. So if I'm talking about combustion, I will do 15 different demonstrations that have to do with combustion. So I blow up 15 different things. But the most important thing for me is that I actually have the student perform the demo. As fireworks salesmen and my childhood G.I. Joes can tell you, I also like to blow stuff up. So have you seen the positive effects of this program and how fun with chemistry has gotten kids excited about science? I had one girl who came to Girl Day here in the spring, um, which used to be called Introduce a Girl to Engineering, but now we just call it Girl Day. Um, she came there and then for her birthday the next week she wanted to come back to Explore UT and go to my show and so her mom contacted me and we were able to bring her up on stage and sing happy birthday and then let her do hydrogen balloons. It was just this moment and she's actually stayed in touch with me a little bit and it's just very rewarding to see these kids, especially girls, get a little excited about science and believe that they can do it, because anybody can. I'm a big fan of the table of the elements but I only look at it periodically. So sadly, my knowledge of chemistry stops at making Kool-Aid. So when did you drink the Kool-Aid and get excited about chemistry yourself? I had the best high school, sophomore high school chemistry teacher in the world, Kelly Pilesrock. I love you, I'm a favorite person in the world. She was crazy. She would run around the classroom, she would let, light ethanol on fire everywhere and just had such a passion for chemistry and I basically just drank the poison when I was 15 and never looked back. So I've just, I love it. I love chemistry, it's fun. I'm really happy that Fun With Chemistry has been out there in schools getting kids excited about science, but what's the future of your program and do you see it growing? Yes, I see it growing, absolutely. I hope that Fun With Chemistry grows. My five-year plan would be that at every University of Texas school that we have at all our different locations that they would have their own outreach program. And so even if it's just really small and they go to one school, maybe two schools a semester, if we just kind of keep getting our circle just a little bit bigger and trying to make sure that we affect or interact with as many students as possible. But my long-term plan, I mean, this is just dreaming since I'm putting things out there. I would love to have a show in Vegas, um, like a Fun With Chemistry Vegas show, because think about that with the money, we could blow everything up. It would just be so cool and then hopefully we could send some donations back to the University of Texas. I think it's time we get hands on while keeping our hands on. So let's put on some protective gear and do some chemistry demos. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this balloon which is filled with hydrogen gas or H2 and we're going to take this very very functional stick that has a candle taped to it and we're going to basically light the hydrogen gas on fire. And so hydrogen is unbelievably combustible, it's super flammable and so it just needs a tiny little spark and then we'll see this really neat baby like one foot diameter little boom. Nice. Can I try it? Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to light this and then let me get my face away from this before you do anything and we might just go straight to the blowtorch. Let's give this one shot, and we'll see if okay. it works. Whenever you're ready. Long arm, beautiful. Woohoo! That was good. That was good. How do you feel? Great. Good? Okay, you yeah. want to do a better one? Yeah. Okay, so now, this is strontium. So I actually put strontium chloride inside of the balloon and added hydrogen gas. So whenever you're ready, we'll kind of see the difference of adding a little salt to it. Nice cocktail. <laughs> Do you see the pretty red? Yeah. That was gorgeous, right? Okay, so this is my second favorite one. Let's do this one right here. This is copper, how's your candle? Awesome. Great. Make Great. sure you have a nice long arm with this one. Copper likes to kind of move a little bit. All Perfect, right. just like that. Oh, nice. That green was cool. It moved yeah. right towards your head. Yeah. That was beautiful, okay. This is my absolute favorite. I put magnesium. So this is just magnesium powder. It's not an aqueous material at all. Okay. So you can hear it. And that's the little shillings or the powder specifically yeah. that's moving around in there. So magnesium is what we add to fireworks to make it look all pretty and special. So whenever you're ready. And then this one for sure, long arm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
4th of July. <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah. Okay, so now what we have is four different hydrogen balloons that we've tied together into a balloon bouquet, or a chemistry balloon bouquet. This is the best version of one. Um, and so four different hydrogen balloons. We have copper in one, strontium, and then potassium in one, so that's more of a purpley color. And then right here at the bottom, this white one right there, let me use not a flame, yep. that's our magnesium yeah. balloon. So okay. that's what you're aiming for. So this is super important where you have the longest arm you can, okay. and I kind of turn my body away from it just to protect okay. yourself. Right. And then the big thing is you're coming from the bottom, so you're trying to hit it yeah, here. Yeah, trying to hit it down at the and bottom. And it does okay. look like it's moving this way, so I think we should be Do on the other side. side. Okay. Yes, for my professional experience or expertise. Oh, it's following us. Now it's following us. Okay, long arm, make sure you're very comfortable first. Sure. You have a good stance, and then whenever sure. you're ready, don't feel rushed on my account. Okay. From the bottom, long arm. Let's, let's pull this a little bit further away from here. Like all, all the right, way, there you right. go. And then just nice and slow. A little bit further. Perfect, perfect, right there. Higher. So close, you're so close. Good job. That was beautiful. So this is one, it's my second favorite demo ever that I do. It is one of the most dangerous ones I do, but that's I think why it's my favorite. Um, I've actually lit my hair on fire once doing this live on television, so uh -huh. don't do that. Make sure your hair is tied up and put it away. Um, but basically, same thing as before. We have four different hydrogen balloons. They're impregnated with inorganic salts, and so they're going to give a little bit different colors. We have the magnesium in the bottom that's going to give it that sparkly firework looking thing. But then the thing that's different from what you did is I'm going to introduce the flame a little differently. So yours was on a candle on a Stick. I'm going to try to blow fire out of my mouth into it. Um, we call this the fire breathing dragon, so that's what we're going to try to do with this one. All right. So, are that, you sounds ready? Awesome. that sounds awesome. Okay, so the most important thing is that you relocate. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to here. take just a second getting prepped here. Um, so, this is cornstarch that I'm going to put in my mouth right here, and then once it's in, I can't talk, so we'll just go for it. So this is my all-time favorite demo. I swear it's why I got my, myself a PhD. Okay. Um, but basically what we do is you have a bucket of liquid nitrogen. Okay. And so it's about half full, maybe a quarter full. And then we have hot water. So this is about 80 degrees Celsius. Liquid nitrogen is at about negative 194, so negative 200 degrees Celsius. And we're going to take hot water and dump it right in there. So what we're going to see is our liquid nitrogen is going to go directly to gaseous nitrogen. And we should be able to see it kind of right here in this area. And it's just a fun one. And I always end every single outreach show with this. this is my finale. Nice. So are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to be brave. Goggles There's are on. Goggles on. Cryogenic gloves are Cryogenic on. Cryogenic gloves are on. And then what we're going to do, dominant hand is going to go kind of underneath it. Let me look. How do I do this? Kind of like this. And so I have my left hand underneath, right hand on top. Perfect. Are you ready? Does that feel okay or do you want to switch hands? Oh no, this is good. This is good? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to dump it in on the count of three and we're going to take a quick step back so we don't get hit in the face. Sure. Ready? One, two, and three. <laughs> do you like it? Yeah. You didn't get hit too bad, too. You did a really nice one. Oh, that's beautiful. And then what I really like to do is kind of like this. Just and then play with it, and then the little kids and me will be like, Whoa. My sincere thanks to Dr. Kate Bieberdorf for letting me blow stuff up, and for making sure science is always fun, dynamic, and thermodynamic for kids around Austin. Hopefully children will always be curious about science. I'd like to take a moment to apologize to the Curious State for that terrible joke. But if you like this video, maybe uh, leave a comment, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always, I'm your host, Andrew Rosas, reminding you to stay hooked.